hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding data files in Odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials so in this video what we will be discussing is about how to load data from files in Odoo that is here you can see in the screen we have patient tag model so here already we have created some tags like VIP master and kit from the UI but there will be some case where we have to load some data to the database from our module itself that what we can say suppose if it is a hospital management software and we are providing the software to our client there will be some predefined set of data which we have to upload into the database whenever we install the module so what we can say there will be a lot of instruments in the hospital there will be common instruments in the database in the hospital and such instruments we can if we have a model to store or model to store instruments we can load those instrument common instruments from data file so similarly what we will be doing in this video is that we will be loading some tags predefine some tags like mr mrs or kid adult like some tags from the code so first of all what i will do is that i will delete all the existing tags in the database so i'll remove all the tags so here you can see right now there is no tag in the database and what i will do i will add some data file inside our module so i'll go to the pycharm and inside custom add-ons we have om hospital module so what i'll do is that i'll create a new folder called data inside om hospital module so i'll right click click on new directory and name it as data so you have to follow this coding convention give it name name it as data so you have created a folder so inside this folder we can create an xml file so we will be loading data from xml file so what i will do i'll right click new and i'll create a new file and patient tag data so i'll name the file as patient tag data dot xml so i'll name it like this patient tag data dot xml and what we have to do as it is an xml file we have to import this file inside the manifest file so simply i'll copy the name and i'll go to the manifest file and the order is after the security you have to load the data files so the path is data slash the folder name patient tag data dot xml so whenever you import the data it has to be after the security and before the wizards so if you check the odoo source codes that is if you go to the odoo then to the add-ons and account so here you can see you have data folder and if you check the manifest file you can see the data files are loaded right after the security file so i'll close this and i have imported here patient tag data.xml so what we are going to do here inside the xml we are adding data so let me go to the om hospital and let me copy the basic syntax this one and let me put it here this is a basic syntax of an xml file or the xml file then what we will be doing we will be loading data as records so i'll create a record give an id then model you have to specify the model so this is a syntax and field name so so let me yeah so we are going to load data into which model we are going to load data to patient tag model so i'll give the id as patient tag vip so i'll name the tag as vip so i have just given the id as patient tag vip and which model we need to load data patient dot tag so you have to give the model name here to which model you need to load data so i need to load data to patient dot tag model so i have given the model name here give an id and name so if i open this model i have only name field here name field and i'm not going to provide value for color and all just i need to provide value for name field so field name equal to 
which field name name and what value you have to provide VIP. So I'll give the value as VIP. So simply we have successfully created one record. Similarly, we will be creating another records patient tag kid and I'll name it as kid and patient tag master or adult you can give anything so this is a just I'm following a naming convention model name which and adult and name you can give adult so let's see what happens so we have added three tags that is VIP hit and adult so let's see what happens if i upgrade the module now so i'll just restart the service and i will upgrade the om hospital module so right now we don't have any tags so i'll go to the apps menu and let's click the upgrade button so you can see you have an error over here file not found i think i haven't put a comma so you have to put comma don't forget to put comma after the file name and just restart it again and let's upgrade the module once again so the module is getting upgrading so there is no errors and the module has been successfully upgraded and if i come to the configuration and if i click on tags you can see vip kit and adult has been added into the database so let's create one more tag so i'll copy this and let's create one more tag what i can say patient tag mister so i'll just put patient tag mister and i'll put the name as mister and similarly you can add more fields in the same model suppose if i come here you can see we have active field in this model which is boolean field name active and its type is boolean so by default all the records are coming as true because in tag model we have set default value for active field as true so let's imagine a case where you have to add one tag as inactive so in that case you can put field name active field name active and as it is a boolean field you have to add like this eval false and let's see what happens so i have added one more tag named mister and i have set its active that is active boolean value as false so let's see what happens if i upgrade the om hospital module now so from here i'll upgrade om hospital module so the module has been upgraded now if i come to the tags you can see you have three values and if you filter active false and click on apply you can see mister has been added and its value is active false you can see we have provided active false so this is how you can load data to odoo using xml file so i hope you understood this video if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by having a comment sharing the video with your odoo friends that's it so that's all for the day thank you have a nice day